That a girl. Keep the racket up. Up, drop, hit. Again, kiddo. Up, drop, hit. Everything cross court. Up, drop, hit. That's it. Hold it up a little longer. Okay, watch this, Sonic. Watch this. Stay up here just a little longer so we can create a little more racket speed. So I want the shoulders and the hips together. That a girl. Again, up and hold it. Not bad. Again, Sonic, check your grip. That a girl. Up and hold it, around and hit. Rick, you're recognized as tennis's greatest coach when it comes to junior development. I mean, the amount of tour wins and the amount of Grand Slam titles that your students have won and achieved is, is phenomenal. I'd like to talk about Sophia Kennan. What was it like working with this now great champion? Yeah, Sophia Kennan, you know, this was very, very different because, you know, kids come to me when they're young. So, you know, a lot of times, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I mean, still, I work with a lot of people on the pro tour. I think I work with 30 girls right now on the pro tour. So I work with anybody. I never really, back then, worked with a five-year-old. And when the father, Alex, contacted me, uh, I said, yeah, you know, I'll take a look. And so she came out and right off the bat, right off the bat, within 10 minutes, there was something different about this child. She would look right through you. Her focus, okay, an ability kind of like Sharapova. I don't know, maybe it's a Russian thing. Her ability to just be like that, even at five. And most five-year-olds are looking around, waving at an airplane, talking to the bird. I mean, it, it was unique what I saw mentally. And then when I started working with her, um, the hand-eye coordination was off the charts. But a lot of kids have that. That's nothing to like mail it in. You're going to be a Grand Slam champion. I had her take the ball right off the bounce, like da 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 boom, hit, da 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 boom, hit. So I trained someone at five. I expedite the learning curve different than 10 because I want her to go, as soon as the ball hits the court, almost like a half volley. And the timing that I established on that little girl, okay, was epic. You have no idea. I would launch the ball 10 feet in the air. She would go, da 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 So I developed timing. Because when you got timing, most sports are become easier. So that was my goal with her, to develop the timing. Now, her back swings were very big. The problem is the racket, and I'm serious, was almost as big as her. Her dad wanted her to use a regular racket and regular balls. And, you know, so she had pretty big back swings. So I did my best to shorten them up, which took a lot because she wanted to kill the ball. And we ended up doing a lot of USPTA videos. She's on the cover. We did a lot of articles together. Um, I took her to a convention just to show people at seven years old how this girl was being trained. And the whole audience was blown away. They go, never seen anything like it. Now remember, this was after Capriotti, and this was after Pierce, and this was after Sharapova, and this was after Venus and Serena. So here Rick Macy is saying again, I think this kid is going to be great. And people don't see it because she's the size of a tennis racket because they're looking at the outside. They don't know that's little Ferrari, what's on the inside that engine. But back then, you know, it was 2006, you know, they, they saw something that was amazing. Her backhand, once again, great timing, tried to shorten the stroke. But one thing we did more than anything, I did more drop shots, or I had her do more drop shots than any other student I had because she wasn't going to be 6'2", 160. She wasn't going to have a serve like Serena. Okay, she wasn't going to hit a forehand, you know, like, like Capriotti. Uh, understand the geometry of the court. That little girl understood the geometry of the court, how to cut the court, how to play the angles, when to back up, how to get behind the ball, how to take time away from your opponent, how to slow the game down, how to sneak into the net. But she had a drop shot, eventually, from outer space like no other. You didn't know it was coming. She was all ready to hit the ball and all of a sudden, gotcha. 
and she loved to trick people. She loved to trick people. It's like a great, a great point guard in basketball. They're a great passer because they like to trick you. It's not even about, oh, I'm going to make a good pass. They just like to trick you. They don't even care about winning. And this is the way Sonia was. So we spent so much time on the drop shot. Even on the second serve return, we spent a lot of time. And I can remember Alex saying, don't do that, don't do that. Hey, great shot. You know, it's like, it always happens. And I said out loud, in print, on video, you know, she'll be one of the best in the world someday. And she became one of the best. And I said, she's the scariest little creature I've ever taught. And to this day, she's still the scariest little creature because I saw it at five. But there was major work from age five to 12. That's seven years. You know, I had a lot of work I've done with Son Sonia three times a week. She would always play boys, older, so on and so forth. Her serve was never going to be big. But she always had this habit of tossing and her head was still down. And people on TV, even today, would criticize it. But the problem is, most of the people on TV don't understand exactly what's going on. They're there to analyze from their own experience. She put the ball in the same place every time and it had no impact on the mechanics. So even though her racket leaked, the legs didn't drive the racket, um, I think if I had worked with her more as a teenager, all this would have been corrected. But at the end of the day, the work we did strategically and the work that we did to, to once again, take advantage of her assets and hide whatever liabilities there are because she was a, one of the best competitors that I've ever seen because she had to be because she was little. But going through the juniors, no one thought she was the flavor of the month except Rick Macy. Even though she was one of the best in the 12, one of the best in the 14, they look, you're little because everybody wants you to be big. You can be big and you know fast and terrible and you can be small and slow and great. I mean, it's what's in here. So. Uh, the experience of uh, working with Sonia and understanding there's probably a more strategic work of understanding the court with her simply because I had to and I had her from that crucial time. Think about it, from age 5 to 12, those are the cards you're dealt with pretty much forever. But I love Sonia Kennan.